Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Superboy here again with another video for you based on our favourite superhero series and today's video is all about the discovery of Wally West's top speed in Young Justice. Let's get started. Before we begin I'd like to remind everyone I will be running for charity in full Mandalorian armour in a marathon in Manchester for Sarcoma Research. If you'd like to donate in support of this worthy cause please click in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. The top speed of Wally West in Young Justice, and this is his top speed at his full potential at the ending of Season 2. Now in order to get to this we need to use some maths of his recorded abilities, most of which are from the episode called Hearted, and I will take into account the changes since then and his final run. First things first, if we measure the distance between Boston General Hospital and Seattle General Hospital, we come up with a distance of 3,052 miles. Now we need to add about 5% extra distance due to detours or obstacles as seen in the show. We then divide that distance by his final time, which if you account for all variables, including Vandal Savage, comes to 3 hours and 26 minutes. Divide that distance by the time gives you the speed, so we're now up to 933 miles per hour at pace in the snow. But now we need to figure out his sprinting speed. And to do this, we measure the max speed of the world record runner of a sprint versus the world record runner of a marathon, see how much the difference is in speed ratio, and that gives us an increased speed of 110% when applied to the 933 miles per hour. This gives us 1,959 miles per hour at a sprint. Next, we have to consider physicality. Now when Wally was doing this, he was about 4 foot 11 and then he experienced a growth spurt between season 1 and 2, taking him up to 5'11". So that's an increase in mass stride and muscle density of 20%, which you then apply to these numbers, which takes us up to 2,351 miles per hour. However, because Wally wasn't in the team full time anymore and didn't use his powers all the time, I figured that he would suffer a 20% loss of that boost due to his lack of use of his abilities, which takes us down to 2,272 miles per hour in the snow. So I figure this is how fast he was running in the season two finale. Now as to his max speed without the weather, I decided on a full 50% increase in speed. So Wally West's max potential speed was a whopping 3,408 miles per hour which is just incredible. That's definitely a couple of max. And this is still considered slow by flash and impulse standard. So how fast they're running is incalculable without the right data. So do you agree with my max? Have you seen anything that contradicts it? Please discuss in the comment section below. And now more than ever is the best time to hit that like and subscribe button because I will be doing a new project next week called Young Justice scenes that probably happened. It's why I haven't been posting so often recently. I want to get this right for you to enjoy. Until next time, I've been Dark Superboy. This has been a video on Young Justice. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. And as always, let hope burn bright. Goodbye.